In this video I will show you how the new SDK 5 handles the waypoints. So I will also explain the difference between virtual stick waypoints and real waypoints. We can see that uh, with the app that we use. So if you have DJI Fly you have virtual stick waypoints and if you have DJI Pilot you have real waypoints. In SDK 4 we had DJI GO, DJI GO 4 and also DJI Fly. There we have the same difference. So with the blue logo apps we have real waypoints and with the DJI Fly app virtual stick. When the aircraft can handle real waypoints the computing is made on the drone. So we send the mission code and the drone executes the full mission without any intervention from the RC control. If we have virtual stick controlled missions, it's our RC Pro or our Handy who is calculating the mission and we will always be in contact to the aircraft to see what happens as the computing is on the remote control. The DJI Mini 3 Pro is a virtual stick aircraft. So the computing is made from the remote control and the remote control sends a command, checks the GPS position of the aircraft and corrects the position of the aircraft. We do that 25 times per second. Now let's have a look on the real waypoints. I will take the example for the Mavic 3 Enterprise and we will see how we can create the missions and how we can copy them on the remote control. Now I will explain you the difference between SDK 4 and SDK 5 from DJI. So in the SDK 4 for the mission programming we had all direct access to the AP functions. So we can start the mission hold the mission and we can also trigger the mission at actions. So we had all this possibility here. Mission trigger and also for the waypoint missions. We load the mission, start the mission and it was uh, nearly our direct programming the, from the mission code. So here I don't talk about virtual stick missions, I talk about real missions we can upload to the aircraft and then the aircraft can execute this mission itself without the remote control. Even if we lose contact to the remote control the mission can continue. Now that's all different for the newer aircrafts starting from the Mini 3 Pro for example. There's Mini 3 Pro is a, a virtual stick drone, so not a real mission drone. But for example the Mavic 3 Enterprise, it's a real waypoint mission aircraft. Now what's the big difference? So in the new SDK or how it works now with DJI Pilot, we upload a ComZ mission. A ComZ mission is a zipped file we have always the VPM set folder and into this folder we have a template camel file. This can be used for Google Earth to, to show the, the waypoints from the missions and we have the Wayline VPML file and here we have the mission code. So these are XML files. I will show you now how they work. We go first to the Wayline mission so we have the heading of the, the mission where we uh, define which aircraft we use. For this uh, example here we have the M30 and we have general settings like the coordinates systems and also the execution altitude and the waypoint speed for the whole mission. We can declare that uh, for each waypoint like we did it in the SDK4. And then we start with place marks. It's similar to the Carmel file from Google Earth with the longitude and latitude. And if we have a point of interest mission, we can also add the center point. 
So that's just a short example and we can then also add actions here like take photo from the waypoint and we can also program trigger distance that we have only to do with the first waypoint. It's now, it's, if it is defined for the first waypoint, it's defined for the whole mission. So that's for the wayline file, the template file, it's much more like a kernel file from Google Earth, but also with some general settings. And then we have also for each waypoint the action and the coordinates. Google Earth will only read the place mark point coordinates to show the, the waypoints. But you can use this template file to show the, the mission on Google Earth. Now let's have a look on the Helix mission. So we are into the Wayline VPML file. We can at start define what it happens if the mission stops. Actually it's no action. And if we lost if we lose the connection to the RC Pro, we execute uh, the mission. Then some general uh, uh, points, the distance of the mission and also the flight time and the start coordinate. As we are in a point of interest mission, we have toward point for the heating mode and there we can see our point of interest coordinates. For the whole mission, we will um, have a curve mission and not stop at the mission point. So we will uh, fly through the points and use a distant trigger from 10 meter for the, the whole mission to take the pictures. I go now to the waypoint number one. So we have uh, the index, we have the waypoint number zero for the first point and the index one is the second waypoint. So we can see uh, for the following waypoints, the code is smaller. We have always the center coordinates toward point of interest and what's now more interesting for us is the pitch angle. So minus 27, it starts as minus 25 and then it goes down, down to minus 30, minus 32 and so on, up to minus 70 for the top point of the helix mission. So that, that's how it works now to program missions. It's this uh, VPML file, like an XML file to program. And if you know uh, how to code it, it's very easy to do. And it's also safe as we have a translator into the DJI pilot program. If there is something wrong, the mission will not be executed. So that's the example from the Helix mission. Now let's have a look how we can export this ComZ mission files. First we have to create a mission. So we will start here with a 2D mission. For this we use the, the map creator. The map creator you see here is executed on an iPad. You can also execute it on an iPhone and also on Mac OS. I've just created a cross mission over a building at 60 meter altitude and now on the settings you can choose between European elevation and also worldwide elevation and we can choose between KML and KMZ files for DJI Pilot. On the iPad I can directly save the mission into Google Drive and we can see later how we can import with Google Drive on the RC Pro. Normally I use the location for the mission and the mission type. If you have a lot of missions, it's very important that you give uh, real names on the missions so that you can find the location and the mission type. Now we will create a Helix Mission 2. The Helix mission gives the best results for photogrammetry with only a few pictures. It's much better than the 2D uh, flat uh, mission. You can also combine them 
as you can see in my previous videos to give to have really good uh, results I will also directly export into Google Drive so that I can I can have access from the RC Pro directly to load them actually we can use Comset export for the 2D mission, uh, 3D mission and also the vertical mission I will support later also the inception but for now we have these three types of missions I will also export this vertical mission to Google Drive if you are not familiar with my 3D helix missions you can see in my previous videos how they work and how you can combine 2D flat missions and 3D missions to have really good results you can check the results in my previous video where I used Metashape, also Reality Capture and Meshroom 2023 so I will show you how we can copy the concept files from a desktop computer to the RC Pro for this we go to Firefox and then to Google Drive into Google Drive we can find our uh, concept missions so I will copy uh, 3D mission I will download it and then we can directly import it from DJI Pilot we go to the import concept internal memory to the download folder and we will load this 3D spherical mission I will tap on it so we can see the mission now if you like to edit uh, this mission you have to pick on this symbol and then pinpoint now we have three mission possibilities here we have the full mission with the name and the, the aircraft actually uh, is the Mavic 3 Enterprise we can have a look on the whole mission from a general point of view so we have a point of interest mission we have five meter per second speed and if I go to the waypoints I am actually at waypoint 41 I will change to the start point so waypoint number one and here we can see the settings so uh, at the start we are at the minus 25 degree pitch angle that will change automatically uh, from the mission program and we have a trigger distance from 48 meters so I will change that I will decrease it at 10 meters you have to be aware on the speed you cannot be uh, below speed for the trigger distance and now we will choose 30 meters for the whole mission and increase the number of pictures that's all if we then go back we have to save it and now we have also the pictogram here you can see the spherical mission so that's all very easy to do to copy it from a desktop computer with Google Drive in my next video I will talk more about triangulation for Terra missions that's useful in the mountains and I hope that you enjoyed this video until the next time thank you for watching Thank you.